welcome to today's program. I believe you are doing great and the Lord has been good unto you. Uh, allow me today to start uh, 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 by uh, informing you that this program is meant to help you grow and become an essential person in the society that you live in today. There are things that you need to learn. There are things that you need to live. There are things that you need to bring on board so that you become that particular person that God has ordained you to do to be. I am I am today I am today uh, 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 reading or rather studying with you what we call the things that makes a man fall or the things that makes a Christian fall. Things that works against a Christian. Things that works against your growth and your becoming. Things that rises against your, 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 the, the you that is in you. And uh, today I am looking at what we call uh, uh, prayerlessness. Prayerlessness. What we can call in Swahili. Ile hali ya kutokuwa muombaji. Ile hali ya kuachana na maombi. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at uh, uh, prayerlessness as one thing that brings a man down. I will start by reading the word of God from the book of 1st Kings chapter number 1st Kings chapter number 8 and verse number 49. The Bible says, then hear you then hear you thy, my, then do you hear their prayers? Sorry. Then you hear their prayers and their supplication in heaven and your dwelling place and maintain their course. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, this is uh, this is a word that is telling us that when God is in heaven, He hears the prayers of His righteous people. He hears the prayers of His people, and uh, He understands when we pray. He hears when He prays, and when we pray, He maintains the course of our life. Meaning, when God begins to maintain the course of a Christian, when God begins to maintain the life of a Christian, when God begins to maintain the life of your family, your ministry, your business, your career, because it is because you have gotten closer to him. Now, prayer is an ingredient that makes up a Christian. It is not just an ingredient, but it's something that is a content of a recipe, a recipe that, that, that brings up a Christian into who he's supposed to be. And it's not just a, an ingredient all alone, but it's a pillar of Christianity among the things that a Christian ought to do, among the things that a Christian has to do in their life it is to pray it is to go into prayer and therefore this prayer when you are praying, we always say that when you are praying, you are communicating with God and when you are communicating with God you draw closer to him, so prayer is one thing that draws a man to God prayer is one thing that draws your spirit to God, prayer is one thing that draws God's attention to your needs, God draws God's attention to your desires to your pain, to your affliction now, if you are a prayerful person therefore you get closer to God and when you are getting closer to God you are building a relationship with your God. You are building a relationship with your maker. You are building a relationship with the one that has ordained you, one that has created you, one that has called you, one that has given you that gift, one that has given you that family, one that has given you that gift, that has given you that family, that has given you the things that you need in this life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that prayer is very important. Now, prayer brings you into good books with God because God will always look and see this is a man, this is a woman that will always come to me. This is a person that is concerned about the relationship between me and him. Now, if you have a wife or you have a husband or you have a child that will always be in constant touch with you, in constant communication with you, you will understand this person better. But a person that is always away from you, a person that stays away from you, a person that is not concerned about you, a person that is not concerned whether you are feeling good or bad. He's never close to you. He doesn't communicate to you. You realize that the relationship between you and that person is not strong. And therefore, when it comes to people in his books, you realize that you miss in their book because you have not been in constant touch with them. 
But then when you become a prayerful person, you get closer to your God. You get closer to your maker because your spiritual life, your spiritual growth, your spiritual uplifting is, uh, is pre preeminently determined by how much you get closer to God. How much you get closer to God. Therefore, your spiritual growth and understanding of God solely is dependent on how well you pray and how well you spend time with God. Because there are many people that don't spend time with God. There are people that don't pray. There are people that don't like to, 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 to get involved in the things of God. And that is why you realize their life it is, has no contact relationship with God. You know, a man or woman who is in contact relationship with God, whenever he calls him, he answers. That's why the Bible says, call unto me and I will answer. And when you cry, he will hear your cries. When you go before him, he will listen to you. It is because you have been having that constant relationship with God. Ladies and gentlemen, understand that prayer is very important for you to grow as a Christian, to grow as a man, to grow in your area of life. When a man submerges himself in prayer, he breaks down into humility. When you get yourself into, into prayer, when you dip yourself into the pool of prayer, when you dip yourself into the things of prayer, when you dip yourself into the nature of prayer, when you dip yourself in the concerns of prayer, when you dip to learn about God, when you begin to speak, in the, when you begin to grow and could begin to move with God constantly, when you begin to move constantly with God, when you begin to be in touch with God, when you begin to communicate with God, you realize that ladies and gentlemen, there is something that comes into you. You begin to be humble in your spirit. You begin to be humble in your life. You begin to be humble in the you're doing when humility is in them is, is 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 in you there is something that happens to you ladies and gentlemen now humility indoctrinates obedience and man is obedient ladies and gentlemen this man is ready he's on the avenue on the paths on the on the way on the platform of now if you are going to connect yourself with prayer you are going to grow into humility. And when you become humble, when you become a humble man, when you become a humble woman, when you become a humble person, when you become a humble child, you realize that you become, you begin to obey. You begin to obey the laws. You begin to follow rules. You begin to do what is right and what is correct. And when these things are correctly done, when these things are correctly followed, ladies and gentlemen, you realize that you have stepped on the throne. You have stepped on a platform. You have stepped on a springboard that is going to cut a pull too. That is going to lift you into your growth levels, into your heights, into the things you have always desired as a man. Now, when, 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 when the Bible says in the first Kings chapter number 8 and verse 49 that uh, the beast man, that when God hears your prayer, he answers and maintains the course of your life. The course of your life is about your ministry. The course of your life is about your family, your wife and your children, your husband and your children. It is all concerns about wanting to get married and wanting to marry. It concerns about your career. It is all concerns about your, 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 your gifts and your talents, your business and your job. This is all about the course of your life. But when you are connected into prayer, when you pray, he hears and maintains that course. Now, a man who does not pray, a person who doesn't pray, the course of his life is rugged. The course of his life is confused. The course of his life is not in order. The course of his life has nothing to do with him because this man or woman is not concerned about him. He's not concerned about God who has created him, who has made him, who has desired that this person grows into something Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that prayer will make you be in the right course of your life. Jesus spoke to the multitude and told them, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my father's will. There is something good about Jesus. We say we are Christians because we follow Christ. But then if you are following Christ, then you need to be a prayerful man. Because Christ Jesus was praying. In the morning, you're going to pray. In the noon, we go to prayer. In the night, we climb up the mountain and pray. 
uh, why he was doing the will of his father the will of the father of heaven is for you to pray the will of god uh, is for you to pray uh, because when you climb into prayer by the time you come out of prayer you are loaded with gifts uh, you are loaded with the talents uh, you are loaded with the favor you are loaded with great things uh, because you are a prayer for man uh, because you are a prayer for woman uh, but if you don't go into prayer ladies and gentlemen the course of your life is confused uh, when jesus told them uh, i am not just doing my will uh, but i'm doing the will of my father and jesus submerged himself into prayer no wonder he told his disciples at one point that this thing cannot go out without prayer and fasting. It means that if you need to grow as a Christian, that you can be able to beat certain things. You can be able to beat certain demons. You can be able to beat certain things that come and fight your life. You need to be a prayerful person. You need to be a prayerful man. You need to pray and fast. You need to pray and connect with God. You need to pray and communicate with God. You need to build your relationship with God. Because by building this relationship, ladies and gentlemen, something grows in you. Something boils up in you. Something is made in you that is not ordinary, but only from God. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus prayed like nothing else. He prayed every time and all the time. He understood prayer is what he needs to succeed. People do not know that if you need to succeed, you need to be prayerful. But don't know and that is why success in their dictionary is not there success in their vocabulary is not there what they have is complaining about life oh this life is tough oh this life is not good i have never been jobless for many years i've been struggling for many years i've never had peace in my marriage i've never had this i've never had that i've never stood i've never done that it is because you have neglected something that is supposed to build you something that is supposed to lift you something that is supposed to make you ladies and gentlemen i want you to understand that when you get into prayer when you begin to pray that the things that god has ordained for you will begin to be revealed unto you they'll begin to be open unto you the gifts of god will be given unto you the favor of god will be given unto you power and authority will rest upon your life because you understand that you need to be a prayerful man a prayerful woman Jesus did great things and great miracles. He went to great places and great places things because Jesus prayed and he understood the importance of prayer in his life and his ministry. Now you are that I'm talking to you today. I want you to know that if you need to grow, if you need to do exploits, the Bible says in the book of uh, in the book of Daniel that those that know their God were able to do exploits. You cannot do exploits unless you know your God. And you can never know your God unless Unless you go into prayer and you can never know you can never go into prayer unless you decide and break yourself up and begin to build a relationship with god and you begin to know god and you begin to pray and begin to understand god and when you understand god and when you know him better so gentlemen there is something that is beginning to boil in your heart something will begin to boil in your spirit something will begin to boil in your life and you begin to do exploits you begin to change lives you begin to do things your ministry will grow your talent will bloom oh your gift will begin to you will be seen by many you will see your business grow hey, because the relationship you have with god is great and you have known him who will make you do exploits tell whoever you're listening with this message that you need to do exploits by knowing god you need to do exploits by praying you need to do exploits by building your relationship with god when you need to grow and become something ladies and gentlemen you will need to spend time with god if you want to grow and become something better then spend time with god Anybody that wants to become educated, he spends time with his teacher. Anybody that wants to learn any kind of thing in his life, he goes to the master of that thing and he learns from him. And he doesn't just learn, he spends time with them. He spends time with them. He walks with them. He takes instructions. He does what they are told. And by, by so doing, you realize that their life changes. Their life moves to a different level. Their life goes to a different level. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know one thing. By going before God, by spending, by spending, by spending your time with God, you realize that there are new things. 
that will happen in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know this. That if you want to grow, spend time with God. Spending time with God is having a debt with your destiny. Spending time with God is having a debt with your destiny. It's telling your destiny, destiny, here I come. Destiny, here I come. I want you. I want you to manifest in my life. I want you to move in my life. I want you to feed me. I want you to help me. I will, uh, excuse me. I want you to lift me. I want you to do something better for me. And by going before God, by spending time with God, by praying, by supplicating, by presenting yourself before God, by allowing God to mold you, by allowing God to do something better in your life, ladies and gentlemen, you realize that you are becoming something, someone better. Spending time with God is having, is treading on the success and, 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 and the growth path. Because you realize that you will grow and become something better. Someone better. Someone of great value in the society. Because of one thing. That you are spending time with the architect of your life. The master planner of your destiny. The owner of your life. The one that already knows what is important for you. What is needed for you. The things that you need in this life. They are all in with God. And therefore, when you spend time with God, he reveals these things to you. He gives them to you. Now, many Christians today are not growing. Many people today are not getting to the levels they are supposed to get to. Many people today are not receiving the things they need to receive in their lives today. Why? Because they have not spent time with God. There are things that are only revealed to a man who prays. There are secrets that can only be revealed to a person who prays. They are, they, 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 they are that cannot be revealed to a person who prays. They are, they, 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 they are gifts that can only come into your life through prayer. They are, they are levels you can only rise to, ladies and gentlemen, by going your, by, by dipping yourself into prayer. But there are certain things you will only admire them. You will only want to be them. You will only want to get there if you are not prayerful. Now, you will never grow to those levels unless you pray. You will never receive these things. Ladies and gentlemen, unless you pray. Therefore, I ask you today that you pray. No wonder Samuel, in the book of uh, in First Samuel chapter number and verse number 33, Samuel says, but it is sin for me if I don't pray. How many people today feel it so bad they don't pray? How many people today, they really want to die, they really want to, to go before God and ask for forgiveness because they have not prayed? There are very few people today Many people have depended on the man of God. Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, remember me. Oh, remember me. Oh, bishop, remember me. Oh, evangelist, remember me. Oh, apostle, remember me. Oh, they will want to tell people to be remembered in prayer. But they don't want to spend time and pray. They don't want to spend time and go before God. And ask God, I come before you as your own child. Oh, God, I have this need. May you, God, attend to my needs. May you make me what you want me to become. May you open a way for my destiny. May you bless my family. May you bless my business. May you, God, put a light into my brother. These people can only become if they are going to put their selves, themselves into prayer. Because Samuel says, Abana, I'll be sinning if I don't pray. When a man stops to pray, trouble comes their way. And fail, falling becomes their, 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 their normal. They fall every time and every moment. They begin, they begin things and they don't grow. They start things and they don't succeed. And because they have spent much of their time in prayerlessness. Now prayerlessness invites trouble in your life. Prayerlessness breaks your limbs and you can't move. Prayerlessness makes you stagnant. Prayerlessness that's you in one place. Prayerlessness gives you a mactiming life. Prayerlessness is a secret, is a seed that will destroy you. Hallelujah. So you must be careful and do not allow yourself not, you do not allow yourself to be a prayerless person. Now, no wonder in Luke chapter number 22 verse 20 verse 40, Jesus tells his disciples pray that you may not enter into sin. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Now, temptation are the things that brings you down. Temptation are things that pulls you into confusion. Temptation are things that destroys your destiny. Temptation are the things that pulls you away from God. They only come 
when you don't pray, but when you spend time with God, when you pray without ceasing, when you pray without prayer, putting a pause, when you put a routine in your life uh, and say, I pray in the morning, uh, I pray in the noon time, uh, I pray in the evening, uh, I pray, uh, I pray in the night, uh, I pray all the time. Uh, whenever I got time to pray, I will pray, uh, I will pray without ceasing. When you do that, ladies and gentlemen, you realize that great things begin to manifest in your life. My pastor one time told me and told me that whatever was achieved through prayer can only be maintained through prayer. Therefore, if you want to grow and you have grown through prayer, then continue growing in prayer. Don't stop praying because you, when you stop praying, you will not continue growing. If that prayer made you grow, keep praying that you continue growing. If that prayer made you become, then continue praying so you can continue to become. If that prayer gave you a car, continue praying. <laughs> Excuse me. Continue praying so that more cars and more great things, more machines can come your way. So keep the things, keep prayer as a very essential thing in your life. But, but when you get what you want, don't hang your boots and say, I finally got what I wanted. This is all I wanted. Thank you, Lord. I finally got what I desired. Ladies and gentlemen, don't allow yourself to hang the boots of your life. Don't hang boots because oh, you have gotten the things you wanted. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. And God will bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, because of time, and I want to tell you this, I want to urge you today, pray that you may become what God has ordained for you. If you become prayerless, you become penniless. Therefore, and you become powerless. Therefore, don't allow yourself to be powerless and penniless. God is going to lift you by being a prayerful person. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you this. There is a book that I've written, The Cost of Disobedience. I want you to, be, to, 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 to contact the numbers on the screen. And God will bless you. And we will see how you get this book to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.